All right, let's break down physical and chemical changes. No boring science class vibes, I promise. Imagine you're eating an ice cream cone on a hot day. If it melts, is it still ice cream? Of course, that's a physical change. The ice cream just went from solid to liquid, but it's still the same, same uh, tasty, uh, tasty treat. Physical changes are all about changes in size, shape or state. Nothing new is created. But now, what if you accidentally drop that cone and your dog eats it? Your dog's body digests the ice cream, breaking it down and turning it into energy. That's a chemical change. The molecules inside the ice cream actually change and you can't get the original ice cream back. Here's another one, crumpling a piece, a piece of paper. That's physical, it's still paper, just wrinkly. But if you light that paper on fire, total chemical change. Ash, smoke and gases are formed and you can't reverse it. Breaking a pencil in half, that's a physical change too. It's still a pencil, just in two pieces. Dissolving sugar in water is also physical. The sugar spreads out in the water. But if you let the water evaporate, the sugar comes back. Nothing new is made. Now let's talk about rusting iron. When iron reacts with oxygen and water, it forms rust. A totally new substance, that's a chemical change. Baking a cake, chemical change all the way. The heat causes the ingredients to react and form something new and delicious. You can't turn a cake back into flour and eggs. So the main difference? Physical changes are reversible and don't make new stuff. Chemical changes make something new and are usually permanent. Next time you boil water or fry an egg, think about what's really happening. Boiling water, physical, frying an egg, Chemical, because the egg proteins change forever. Physical or chemical, changes are happening all around you every day. Spotting the difference is actually pretty easy once you know what to look for. All right, before we wrap up, let's do a quick quiz. Question one, if you break a glass, is that a physical or chemical change? Question two, if you leave a sliced apple out and it turns brown, is that physical or chemical? Question three, if you dissolve salt in water, what kind of change is that? Ready for the answers? Answer one, breaking a glass is a physical change. Answer two, the apple turning brown is a chemical change. Answer three, dissolving salt in water is a physical change. Great job. Next time someone asks, you can explain it like a pro. Catch you later.